As long as everyone, yes, I'm back with a new video. Today's video is featuring another Indomie adventure. So where are we going this time? We're going to the dollar shop. Yes, this dollar shop is near Vavdara Avenue roundabout. So let's go. So I am here at the dollar shop. On the other side, we have uh, Vavdara roundabout. And then here we have the dollar shop right here. So everyone, as soon as you enter the dollar shop, you will find Indomie. Three pieces for 130 rupees. Okay, let's go buy these. And I got my purchases right here. Now I'm gonna open this for you and also show you the inside seasoning and chili powder. So we have sabzi tarka, beef shashka, murg jaska. I tried to find this word, it means enjoyment. So beef enjoyment. So let me open the vegetable first. This is a seasoning for vegetable. Okay, now the seasoning for the vegetable is very yellow. Look. There is some salt going through, but it's very fine. And this is a chili powder. Not too dark, not too light. If you just smell the seasoning like this, it really smells lemony. Really thin noodles. Really nice thin noodles. But they're layered on top. And it's a good solid block of noodles. Okay. Now I'll show you chicken. And here we have the seasoning for the chicken. And we have the chili powder. So seasoning, chili powder. Okay. Uh, the chicken seasoning is very light in color and not a lot of salt. I do not see salt. And then the chili powder is really dark for the chicken flavor. This is a chili powder for vegetable and this is for the chicken. It's very dark. Okay, I got hold of some of the stragglers that were trying to escape the noodle block. And guess what happens to them? They get eaten. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Do not eat noodles. Kacha um, like this. You'll get ache. You'll get a tummy ache. So don't eat it like this. I'm just gonna taste. Oh. Mm mm. Really tasty. Then I'm gonna show you beef. This is a seasoning for the beef. Very colorful. Now the seasoning for the beef is very, it's kind of very dark compared to the other two noodles. And you'll see very coarse salt going through. That's why I like the beef flavor soupy because it has very coarse salt in it. And then the chili powder, it's very light, just like the vegetable one. Chili powder is light and then you'll see salt going through and the salt for this one is really coarse and then I want you to compare it to chicken look at the chili powder very dark and this is a vegetable one so light somewhat light and dark chili powder so everyone we're here at the kitchen I'm gonna cook these noodles exactly how it's written at the back of the package I've already cooked the vegetable ones and I've already cooked the chicken one now the only one is left is the beef. Let's turn on the stove. Uh, empty the noodles into the pan. Add exactly 300 ml of water. I'm going to put exactly that amount. Now let this come to a boil and then leave it to simmer for 3 minutes. Okay, I've emptied out the seasoning and the chili powder here. I'm gonna add it to the noodles once they are done cooking for three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Now I'm gonna add the seasoning. We have to let the seasoning and the chili powder dissolve and it's done. See, even 300 ml of water is giving you a very soupy effect, but I like it super soupy. Plus, plus, look, 
even if you leave the noodles out, it absorbs the water. So it's always good to have a little bit of more water than what is actually intended. I personally feel that. If you just like it this way, that's perfectly fine. Now transfer it. Yay. Okay, let's go to the eating station. See ya there. Okay, so here we are. Before starting, I want to actually tell you the exact water measurements of each that I did. So for the beef, I used exactly 300 ml of water as it said at the packaging. And this is the water content right here. Pretty good. Slightly soupy, but still good. This one was 500 ml of water, so I added 200 ml extra. And it's slightly soupier. And you know what? Even the noodles are softer with a little bit of more water. And this one right here, the vegetable one, I added 600 ml of water. So 300 ml for one noodle packet plus an additional 300 for an extra packet. And this is the result. It resulted in more fluffier noodles. Okay, let's try the beef first. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hmm. It's okay. Don't get me wrong, this is not bad. It's just it's not the way I like to eat it. But it's really good. Okay. Now we'll try the chicken with the 500 ml of water. The noodles are slightly fluffier compared to this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But as I mentioned, the intensity of the seasoning powder and chili powder just gets so diluted. It's like, you can barely taste it. I like that intensity of flavor, especially from their seasoning is awesome sauce. Like you cannot get perfect seasoning. And when you just add it to water like this and cook it off, it just kind of kills the flavoring. Like why would you do that? Why? Think of humanity. Okay too much now we'll try the vegetable one now this was 600 ml of water uh yeah i put too much water in this it resulted in really fluffy noodles okay it's also your preference so it really just depends you'll find this kind of raw some people like to have it like really um chewy some people like to have it like really soft and then super soft where it's just you don't have to work your teeth to eat this okay so let's try the vegetable bismillah rahman rahim oh no okay first of all my bad because I added too much water to this. Oh no! The vegetable is infiltrating the beef. Okay, that's my bad. I should not have... Just don't put too much water. I think this water and this water, um, 300 ml, as it says at the back of the packaging, is perfect. Or you can go 500 ml or maybe 400 ml that would be like a good in between but not not too much and yeah the noodles are very soft because it's cooked in a lot of water mm. okay. and another thing i did not add any butter or any ghee and i would say i am just not a fan i'm sorry I'm just not a fan of how it's telling you to actually eat it. Boo. I'm not a fan of this. I'm sorry, Indomie. The only reason I don't cook it this way is because it dilutes the intensity of the seasoning powder and chili powder. So I do not cook it this way. If you enjoy it that way, more power to you, alhamdulillah. But this way of cooking is just not for me. If you want to watch the way I actually make these indomie noodles, 
I will leave a link of the video at the end of this video. So don't forget to watch that. Okay guys, for now, this is it. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye.